Well, happy Sunday morning, everybody. Show you what we're working on today. Got my old Wabash dry van trailer here. Got her pulled up on some blocks there. Get this axle off the ground. We got a broken bag mount. It's broke there. It's broke there and on the other side. See, I've got my porta power in there. Gonna uh, straighten out the best we can and weld her back together. I did drop this off at a trailer shop to let them do it. Because it just would have been easier and probably a little bit faster. But then they kept it for four days and didn't touch it. And then they told me this piece right here, this dog bone, is broken. And uh, it is not. You can see it's not broke anywhere up there. Not would have bought if they just said, hey, we got to put new bushings in it. But what they said was... Needs a new dog bone, needs a new airbag, new airbag bracket. That'll be $4,900, could be end up being more. Uh, $105 an hour is their shop rate. So they're trying to tell me 25 to 35 hours of work to do this? Yeah, I don't think so. So we're going to get her lined out and uh, we'll go from there. Give you another view of what we got going here. The porta pot or is ran across to that side there to kind of get it bent back in place. I got still got some more bending to do. There's the porta power I use right there. It's a Harbor Freight one, and this one's probably about 20 years old, but it still works. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Alright, guys, we came out here to this side. We're pushing there and there. We've got that crack real close. These ones in here are pretty close. I think we're just gonna fill it right where it's at there. Well, we're gonna try anyways. Got a Hobart 210 stick. I got some Perfect Pass 8600, I think is what it says. I fell focus. Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try. I am not a welder by any means, but we are gonna give it a go and see what happens here. Um, airbag mount is actually pretty straight. I'll get this side done and then I'll go in and try to straighten it a little more on the other side and weld that side. All right, well, we got this side done. If you can weld better, really don't give a shit. A uh, guy I madly respect told me, it don't have to be pretty, it just has to work. And uh, that's what we're going for today. So that crack is just about beautifully lined up there. So we're going to hit that side. And I think that's it. I also found this little pin hole right here. I'm going to grind it down and uh, fill her in. I think it would be a good time to do that. Well, and we are back. Same day, just later. And it's hot. Well, we got that done up there. And that all done down there. So it's holding uh, the weight of an empty trailer anyway. So we'll uh, put her to work and see what happens. And then on my other Saugas, this tire here came on it when I bought it. Right there. Found an outward bulge, so I gotta deal with that. It's too hot today. I'll deal with it tomorrow. I've got a couple virgin tires on the part out rig over there. So we're gonna do a little pressure washing. And that is that. Y'all have a great day.